we have dealt with this equation work equals the negative pressure times change in volume again determining the amount of work that's done when we have a system that's volume changes at a constant pressure there's a similar equation when we're dealing with gases that can be used to estimate or calculate work involved in a chemical reaction and that is simply a negative change in number of moles times R times T. Now you'll notice that PV equals NRT is an equation that's familiar to you. Um, it's kind of playing off that equation but realize that if we change the number of moles of a gas we will change its volume. That result will be that the system will either do work or work will be done on the system. We can apply this concept to some equations and at least get an estimate or an idea of whether the system will do work or work will be done on the system as we're asked to do. And let's just take a stab at giving this a try and see if it makes sense in the end. So here's an equation where I have two gases that react to make this product. Notice that products and reactants are all gases. We can find delta N for this reaction and it's this delta N is the change in number of moles of a gas so it's the moles of gas in the product minus moles of gas in the reactant. In this case we just have one mole of gaseous product and we have two moles of gaseous reactant so the change in number of moles is a negative one. If you think about that in a practical sense if I have two moles of gas that become one mole of gas the container will shrink at a constant pressure. It'll shrink by half. And if this reaction mixture represents our system, then the system's volume will go down. Under those circumstances, that means that work is being done on the system. You'll recall from previous sections that a positive or work being done on the system indicates that work is positive. Would that be the case here? It is. Negative one times a negative times RT would be a positive number. Anyway, all of those things come together to help us realize that in this case work is done on the system. Let's take a look at this reaction. Here's a few new things to consider. Our products are solid. One of our reactants is solid. How do we approach this if we need to find again delta N? Well, we said that this applies and again we have ideal gas law type of equations in the back of our mind, but realize that this is a solid and that's a solid. The change in number of moles that we're interested in in doing these calculations are typically just the gaseous changes. We have zero moles of gaseous product. We have five moles of gaseous reactant, so the change in moles is a negative five. Just again in a practical sense, if you have five moles of a gas in a reactant, four moles of a solid and make two moles of a solid, the significant change in volume Will result from the change in the number of moles of the gas. It's an expanded phase and gases of course an equivalent number of moles take up much higher volumes than solids and liquids. Okay so in this case if I have a negative 5 for my change in number of moles what does that indicate? The system becomes smaller, it's pushed back by the surroundings and work is being done on the system. Alright our last example we have water decomposing into its elements. Notice that everything's a gas now, and I have three moles of gaseous products. I'll subtract two moles of gaseous reactant, and I'll end up with a changed number of moles of one. What actually is going to happen here? Two moles of gas become three moles of gas, therefore the system must expand, and for it to expand it must do work. So work is being done by the system. The net result is W is negative. We lose energy to the surroundings because we are doing work on the surroundings.